Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7. And Papa Cate Pal, the volcano in Mexico that I talk about often because it goes off and has activity often, has had a major, major eruption down in Mexico today. Now, it's had a whole lot of eruptions. Apparently, this one was bigger than normal because World News Tonight. Eruption warning. So that's ABC telling us about this. Mexico's National Center for Disaster Prevention issued a warning urging people not to approach the volcano after a series of eruptions that produced plumes of smoke and gushing lava. And if my theory is correct, all the gas giants being on the same side of the sun will bring a lot more volcanic activity, earthquake activity, crazy storms, and wild lightning. This was Houston, Texas tonight. Apparently, some people thought a uh, Fed funds rate cut would make the stocks go up, but they did it because they knew stocks were going to go down. So think how much worse it would be if they hadn't cut rates. Yeah, it was a turbulent day in the markets. And for the first time ever, the 30-year U.S. Treasury yield dips below 2% for the first time ever. This brought to us by the wonderful, fantastic Tracy Holloway of the Bloomberg. And yeah, like I was trying to tell everybody, since I try and walk the middle of the two roads and give you the truth all the time, from all the research I did on the economy, and I did a bunch. And when the 10-year goes under two, you know things are going bad. And when the 30-year goes under two, well, that's never happened before. So you got a lot of signals, signaling weakness, and you have the USA and China in a full-fledged trade tariff currency war. And I guess the next step is war war. But a duck squad at sunset gives me hope because God is great and you guys are pretty cool too. And we're only out of cancer season a few days. Want to hear something crazy? The last time I was on the porch right before cancer season started, I played guitar and then a lightning and rainbow showed up. And tonight I sat on the porch with my badass new guitar and then a rainbow, which is new now the new Thor signal and lightning showed up. So, good things can happen, people. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Whoa, oh, oh, oh. It was a great day on my end. Nathan kicking ass, saying, now that I have more than four model runs, I combine them to make an average track for Chantal. The estimated track brings it up through Central America as a low. And then in the Gulf, it reaches Category 1 status right before landfall in Louisiana. Why does it only get to Category 1? Is it wind shear? Is it dust? Is it because the waters are supposed to get cold somehow, like ice? Great work, Nathan. Women. Love is a canvas furnished by nature and embroidered by imagination. Voltaire. I resisted the urge to tell a joke. Bitmex, sanctioned by the UK Advertising Authority for using a logarithmic scale chart of Bitcoin price and its Bitcoin birthday ad. L O O O O O O L. That's a lot of O's, ma'am. Holy shit, is this the first example of a little a literal chart crime? Apparently, it looked like this and the algorithm they said, hey, let's have it look like that for context. Thank you. Yeah, crazy uh investing times. Anthony Maselio TC induced wave train Asia Pacific to extended jet process simulated on the GFS. Now we're gonna let this run. It goes kind of fast, but you can see lows climbing out of Central America, heading up towards Mexico. And so by this projection, it would have it going more west. We're definitely gonna keep keep our eye on it because 
Nathan thinks it's going dead center. I think it's either going hard to the left or hard to the right. Because when was the last time anyone other than me went down the center? What a crazy jet stream, man. Jason J. R. Patton? I salute you. August 1st, magnitude 6.8. Chili earthquake reveals stress is building. Yeah, I could release some stress. Not to that dude, though. Mm, to you, ma'am, if you're one of the Magic 11. The Weather Channel. A rainy day and what? A rainy end of the week is ahead for the Sunshine State. And we're not just talking about afternoon thunder showers. Whoa. Why is there so much innuendo? Record challenging heat Thursday for parts of the Southwest. It's hot. 118, that's hot. 115, that too is hot. It was a cool, magical, rainbowy, blessed rain. And I, right, the rainbow came out as I went live. That was pretty neat. Galveston even had a special marine warning out for water spouts. I hadn't seen that before. So yeah, about the economy and, you know, the trade war and the global war, Russia flies nuclear-capable bombers to region facing Alaska. That's the whole thing, man. I try to keep politics out of things, but our president sure likes to insult people. And there's really no no reason to insult people, especially that much, that often. Greedo, Frito, Fredo, Alfredo, whatever you want to like. The Federal Reserve, maybe called them Greedo, and the other guy Frito. Frito pie, man, Frito pie sounds good right now. Um, so I'm just saying, I don't know what the end game is, but we need everybody to get along and work together because we're all interconnected and we are all in this together. But it's probably the heat that's making everybody crazy. Brittany Boyer, one for the record books. Here's a look at the cities that tied and broke records today. Jacksonville, Florida, Galveston, Texas, San Francisco, California, Houston, Texas, that is me. And then came the rain and the light, you know, rainbow. Come on now, was my singing that bad? I think a Kevin Smith, Buckaroo Banzai could be totally cool. I know it's a long ways out, but this is an interesting frame. Giant storm, retrograding, hurricane looking thing. <sighs> We're looking at the public tape help live feed right now. And it's smoky and sultry, just like your eyes. Remember, if I'm showing you stuff like this, which is still PG-13, that means I'm telling you very serious information. So we got volcano action, and we got 800-point dropping 3% action. In the markets, as this war in the currencies continues, Markets in Turmoil Special is on like Donkey Kong. Dominic Chu, Astro Pie Club member. The Markets in Turmoil Specials will continue until morale improves. Thank you, Stock Cats. Manus Craney. That's called damage. A rather ugly finish to a rough day for U.S. stocks. The three major indices finishing with losses of 3% each. The underlying growth concerns knocking 3.5% off oil prices took the yield on the 10-year treasury to under 1.6. And then we know the 30 just has done something it's never done before. So, you know, these are crazy times. 11 days until World of Warcraft vanilla. My paladin is so handsome that he's not a paladin. That's, that's a rogue. Smoking Russian volcano. I wish I was smoking a Russian volcano while drinking a white Russian. So it's a good time for everybody to work together. I know that a lot of people have a prepper mentality. They're like, let's get prepared for the end of the world. And hopefully we can profit off of it through our gold, our silver, our bitcoins, and our 401ks or whatever. But it's better to prevent a collapse of the economy and the global society and to work together on a new system that benefits everybody a whole lot better than the shit show we got now. So yeah, economic turmoil, but my conspiracy theory is they're going to 
crash the markets so that way they can do quantitative easing, which they have to do anyways. But if they announce it at the top, it would be weird because compounding interest is, is, is a bitch. I'm in the mood to do a very awkward ending. God bless everyone. Thank you. I've had a great day. Wonderful day. Thank y'all for being incredible, awesome, fantastic, amazing. I am pouring tons of love and light to you as I have charged particles from that rainbow and lightning storm. I strove Fight Club forever. Peace out. May the force be with us always. Let's live long and prosper together. The changes, we can adapt to them if we work together, which is what we're going to do, people.